And then what happens? Like, what's next? Like, I am sure maybe you're asking yourself this question. Like, I, I'm not going to be in acceptance about the situation that I do not want. I'm just not going to do that. And I remember um, the one time when I was just sort of playing the edge of like, like not accepting exactly what was going on in my life. And just playing the edge, like I could fantasize about something else going on. I could be in another spot. I could go into bargaining, like maybe I can still have that thing that I want um, and and not face the thing is over or the thing is ended. I could do all of those circles around acceptance and I could actually take a lot of laps around that and not really accept, but try to have both things true. And I remember someone saying to me, like, you have to work harder there because you're not in reality. You have to work harder to be in reality. So what if you tiptoe in for one second with your magnifying glass or your telescope and look at what could reality look like that I could handle at this moment? Remember that feeling I talked about at the beginning, which was it's too hard of a moment and I can't go through it. So, okay, you've got your telescope and you're looking at what's possibly on the other end of this acceptance that I have to, to deal with and go towards. What is it? What is it? What's the worst part of that? What's the thing I can't do? And let's investigate that again. I can't have this. I can't live my life. I'm going to feel so sad. I'm going to be lost. What is it? That's the biggest fear. And then ask yourself again, how can I be in the moment of acceptance? How can I just be in one moment of acceptance, maybe the hardest part of acceptance, just for a moment, then I can back off of it. But it's so important for us to go into the edge of acceptance, not kicking and screaming, but, you know, really coaching ourselves if we're kicking and screaming about why we are. But going into the edge of acceptance and pushing that edge a little bit more to be like, I got to get over there to the other side because I can't be in fantasy and I can't be stuck. Because that's the motto, right? We all want to live our lives. We all want to have a life that we like to live. And so we have to face the things that we might not like and we might not agree with. And we have to go back to living our lives and figuring out how we're going to do that. So that's my breakdown of getting to acceptance. Um, there might be a lot going on in your life, in the world, in your communities, in your families, but notice the places where you resist being in the present around what's happening now and work that edge. 